Hello everybody, my name is Sirk and welcome back to Banished. And... Yeah, everything's going alright. <laughs> uh, last time, we went over here and planned out a big city. So now there's lots of roads to be built. Lots of things to be done. Uh, lots of area to clear out. Uh, we did pause all the buildings. Actually, this one needs to be paused. Uh, I went through and was kind of moving some stuff around. I added some stuff. Uh, like I filled in this area a little bit more, put some more houses. Um, I also moved the church. Last time I had placed it up here, but I decided to put it right here with a cemetery behind it. And uh, that looks pretty good. How is our distribution of labor? Let's get uh, one more builder there. Our food's doing all right. Uh, let's go up to five times now as they're going. Uh, we had a child born. Very good. Food's going down a little bit. Yeah, it's going down. Uh, but there it goes up again. Now down. Kind of fluctuating. Not too bad. Uh, we got plenty of firewood. Tons and tons of firewood. Uh, we got tons of tools. Yeah, we should be good on everything for the moment. They got the bridge built. That bridge. And they're working on all the roads, which is fantastic. Uh, there was some roads here that I decided to get rid of, and for some reason, instead, even though they haven't been started... Oh, we got two more laborers. Even though they hadn't been started because the game was paused, uh, I still have to do, like, a clear order for them to go away. Like, it just... it didn't just delete them like it should, since they hadn't been started at all. Uh, like, something popped up where they actually have to, like, go through and get rid of it or something. Oh, we're getting tons of laborers. Holy cow. Yeah, we've gotten like three laborers since we started. That's fantastic. Uh, any help we can get is definitely appreciated. Right now, the only thing I don't have paused is, well, the stockpiles, because I don't think you can, yeah, you can't even pause those, uh, but that's fine, because they need places to put stuff. Um, and then also the trading post, I want to get that up so we can start getting some seeds. And I think that's all that I have not paused. Yeah, it looks like they're using this stockpile over here. A uh, child was born. Woohoo. We are up to... Oh, and, oh, someone died. I saw the number change and I was like, oh, but nope. It was bad. It was a bad change. Very sad. Uh, food's still good. Up near 3,000. That's very good. As long as we can keep that up, uh, that then I am happy. We have... Did we... No, we haven't finished this place yet. We haven't even started <laughs> on this place. We just have the roads going through here. Uh, that's kind of where we ended off, and then I went over here last episode and paused the game. And was just working on planning this, so we didn't actually get any... Uh, didn't get any progress done. I think they're going to... Well, they're, they're going to, like, prioritize the roads. Because that's just how they do it. So they're going through and building all the roads, taking, clearing out the area. Which is alright, because that means they're going to get resources, uh, which is very good. And in fact, maybe we should do a clear order on the stone and the iron in this area. Oh, it looks like, well, it looks like they're actually clearing out a lot of stone just to get... Like, if I do this, it doesn't tell it to collect that stone, uh, because there's a building there, so it already kind of has a clear order to get that stone out of there. Uh, I really wish this would go away, because I want to put another fishing, uh, fishing dock right there. Um, I want to have, make sure that they're, well, I want to have quite a few along this river, but, you know, they have the radius, so I have to make sure that they're kind of outside of each other's radius. And this one works really nicely right, right, oh no, oh no, that's backwards, whoops. <laughs> I was going to say, it worked before, yeah, right there, it'll work. Uh, we just have to have the, a laborer has died of old age, let's get another laborer on reserve. Um, but yeah, it'll fit right there, we just need to get that road out of the way. And I had a road going right through here, because that was the most direct route. But uh, I figured it'd probably be better just to extend this road. So we got to get this thing out of here. 
And then we can have a road going straight through there. But, uh, yeah. At a labor or die of old age, how sad. But, uh, it, that's okay. Everything's still moving along. We... Once we get the roads done, and that trading post, I'm... I think one of the first things I want to build out here is houses. I think. Maybe... Yeah, we'll probably start off kind of getting this area going over here, get some houses, get like the woodcutter, um, and other things that we need over here. I'm not sure exactly what the best order would be. It'd be good to get the uh, town hall built too, so that we could actually, um, so we could uh, uh, get start like recording things or getting the records of the things. Uh, basically, the town hall is for, you can get better records of like what your city is p producing, uh, what your village is producing. Also, uh, nomads can show up every once in a while, and you can either decide to let them in, or and become citizens, or you deny them. Uh, you know, the positive of letting them in is that you get more people, which means more workers uh, to do stuff. The negative is that... Well, you have more people, so, you know, you're going to have to find housing for them. Also, you are going to have to, you know, you're going to have to have more food and firewood. So you have to make sure you have the resources for them. And also, I think there's a danger of them, um, of them bringing disease, I think is, is a danger they have, that could happen. Uh, but yeah, winter's going fine, our wood is staying up. Our food's still around 3,000, which is fantastic. What do we have? We got five gatherers going, three fishermen, and five hunters for our food. Uh, so that obviously is keeping up with it. I don't want to decrease the number, because I'd rather just build up tons of food. And it looks like we're just, like it's staying around 3,000. It's not really going up much higher. Yeah, right now we we just have we have a lot of plans, a lot of stuff planned out. We just gotta wait for them to actually get around to doing it. And I I don't really have much to do here again. <laughs> uh, just kind of watching as they go about their business. Just gotta keep an eye on uh, keep keep an eye on everything that they have here. We can maybe get rid of like a blacksmith. Oh, uh, oh, we had two people die. Hunter died and a fisherman died. So we gotta get a labor there. Uh, let's pull uh, Blacksmith and Taylor off their jobs. We could probably pull a Forester away. Because um, we're clearing out an area, so it's not too big of a deal. So let's get a couple more builders. And I want to keep all the food people. And I want to keep the wood cutters, because they're doing a good job of keeping up with the wood. The firewood. Keeping a good stockpile of that. So, uh, one thing I was just thinking about, though, when I was talking about the nomads, you can actually build these boarding houses. I've never made these, but they are... Uh, they provide a temporary place for the homeless to live. So, I think, like, if you, if you decide to, you know, let in some nomads... Uh, this would be a good thing to have in that instance because then they would have a place to live such a big thing be kind of cool to have it like out here or something uh, or maybe out here like I don't want it really to be right in the middle of the city but we could have it out here or something could work how big is that? Like, does that take up this whole square? Almost. There's one free block there. Hmm. Or we could turn it this way. And it pretty much fits perfectly there. Just one, one free block. That could be cool, too. Uh... How's our wells over here? We got a well here. Like, for this area. We have a well there. And we'll have a well over here in front of the church. I don't know. We might want a well maybe right in this little corner. 
I think that would be a nice spot for one. So let's get that in place just to make sure that it is there. And let's pause construction on that. Uh, we got... Kiara has become an adult and is working as a laborer. We still only have two laborers, so... Shouldn't we have had another one? We didn't lose anybody. I'm not sure. We're up to 47 people. Very good. And there's so many roads. <laughs> Lots of roads to build. But they're almost done. we got a few here to do. Very nice. Um, so now if we put that well in there, is is that boarding house still going to work? Uh, no. Now it's not. Which is alright. Because I think I kind of want to put it, like, there. If we do it. Either there, or have it, like, have it here. And put stuff behind it. Hmm. Well, we can... We can put it there for now. We'll just pause construction. That's fine. Uh, Ryle the laborer has died of old age. Oh no. <laughs> we need to get some of these houses built. That's probably one thing we should do. Uh, looks like they're getting rid of that road. Even though there isn't technically a road there. I just planned one. So now we can put the fishing hut here. Oh no. Oh, it still doesn't go there. That road was like covering up that one red spot there. But we can... So, <laughs> it's going to have to go over one anyways, which is where I would have had to put it with that road there. Well then. So I guess right there is where it's going to go. That'll work fine, I guess. We'll just put a road right in front of it. How big is it? Yeah, that big. That'll work. Cool. Cool, cool. Uh, we should probably put some houses around here. And I might want to build those first. I don't want to build houses too far away from the main city right away. Uh, so we could put one right by the woodcutter here. Oh, there's a, there's a well here. Uh, do we want to make it right next to the well? Or is there a better place for that well to be? We probably don't even need a well in this area. And in fact, I'm going to get rid of that one. If I put one, I'm going to put it like over on this corner somewhere. Let's get rid of that structure. And are we going to want a road, though, going past this woodcutter? I can't really think of why we would need one, but I'll leave a space there. Just in case. So we'll have that. Uh, Getrendine, Gert Gertrandine has become an adult and is working as a laborer. Fantastic. Welcome. And uh, I'm not going to pause those stone houses because we want those built. That would be fantastic. Because we need more houses. And I don't want to build anything more over here. We do have some houses planned over here. Oh, it looks like they got the, uh, the forester built. We have two foresters right now. Uh, hopefully none of them are working in town. That'd be good. Yeah, none of them are working there. So we got one over here, I think. Oh yeah, that's the herbalist. And yeah, we have one working over here and then one working uh, to the north. Over here. What are we doing now? They're just walking all about. Walking all about. So if we did that boarding house there, I should probably pause this so I can... so they don't start working on these roads. Where? Oh, there we go. So we'd have a, a road basically going... like, out to there probably is what we want. Then we have a nice square area here. Uh, how would houses fit in here very nicely? Like if we put uh, 
house there. Yeah, there's only one block. Oh, not even. Wait, what's... What's there? Oh, there's some sort of clear order? I guess? I'm not sure why there's a clear order there. But yeah, there's only one block of space, so that would work nicely. And what about going this way? We might stick other things other than houses in here, but that's usually what I put in these spots. And that's kind of what we need the most. So if we did house there, house there, and then we could have the road going straight through there. So that would work pretty nicely. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to cancel that one, though. I'm going to cancel all these. Because I don't know if I, I really want to have the, those be houses. And we need a road there. Okay. Let's play again. So they got more roads to work on. Uh, not that they really need them, but that's fine. All of our builders are going to be just tied up in road building for a long time. Although, no, nah, not really, because we're almost done, but still. Uh, there's a lot of roads to be built. Everything's going fine here. There's lots of wood just sitting at the wood cutter. Lots of firewood sitting there. This place is doing all right. Look at all this stuff. Got tons of venison, so our, uh, our hunters are doing a good job. Lots of onions and roots and mushrooms. And berries, so herbs. Well, that's only a cap. That's like capped at a hundred. So that's doing fine. Yeah, our food is going way up. Four thousand. Uh, did we? Is our max five thousand? I think that's what I put it to. Yeah, five thousand. So yeah, that should work nicely. What about fish? Is there any fish in here? Twenty-one fish. So not a lot of fish. Um. There's 235 fish in here though. Lots more venison and mushrooms and stuff, so that's good. Uh, didn't we have another storage barn? What do we have? There's a storage barn over here. What are they keeping in here? Some venison. Okay, that's good. That's real good. Uh, what about... Do we have a storage barn over here? Yeah, you guys have lots of venison. Lots of uh, other foods. Very good. We're doing a good job keeping up on all that stuff. Sounds like I hear more roads being built. <laughs> uh, I'm wondering what are they... Have they done anything over here? They got the hunting cabin started. They got a gatherer's hut there. A wooden house? No, why is, why is there a wooden house there? Why did I make wooden houses? Let's cancel that. Uh, that one. Cancel those. That is not what I want. I want stone houses here. Stone house, stone house. Then we got a storage barn there. Still a lot of clearing out to do. Uh, we got another laborer. Yes. Uh, Dedricky has become an adult. We can probably pause this thing. So I'd rather get houses built so we can get more people born. Because we are... We only have 33 adults now. <laughs> we were at 34 or 35. Uh, we're up to 48 people. Uh, so we're still... Still need more people. And we're not going to get a lot more born until we get some houses going. So that's definitely going to be our first... Order of business. Is that road? No, it misses by one. But that's alright. Not a big deal. Um, we have those houses there, and I. Well, I guess I might do a cemetery there. I was thinking of doing a cemetery here by the church. We already have one there. So we could put the houses here and then cemetery behind it. I was also thinking uh, we should. We should put, like, uh, orchards just like small ones here in town like I was thinking around town hall we could put uh, some orchards just to like I think it will help the look a bit because uh, you'd have those trees growing uh, one thing I was kind of thinking is it'd be cool to leave open spaces around I haven't left too many 
kind of filled in a lot, but we have like a little bit of space here. There's a small space there. Uh, small spaces here. Oh, we just got quite a few laborers. What did I get rid of? Uh, we need that thing. There we go. Uh, but yeah, there's a few open spaces, and it might be cool to put like a forester that only plants trees. Um, that will just plant trees in the city, basically. <laughs> uh, like, it won't really help with anything except for the aesthetics of the town. So it is early winter in our 16th year. We have still have 48 uh, people. Our food is excellent. Our tools are starting to go down a bit, but not too bad. Maybe I'll get a blacksmith going. Um, our clothes are all right. We got 40 still. So it's only the, a fifth of the way down from uh, where we were. Lots of deaths. 11 graves out of the possible 32. Got another student. Very good. Good job. Keep up the hard work. Wish I could. I wish there was a better way to kind of see what they were working on. Like, I know. I know they're building some stuff over here. Looks like they're carrying stuff to the gatherer's hut. Yeah, they're starting on the gatherer's hut. I don't even see a builder here, though. That's weird. Uh, so once they're done with that, hopefully they'll... I'm gonna... Well, we'll keep that going. Uh, Desi the Physician has died of old age. Liss has replaced Desi as Physician. Look at this beautiful town. It's very cloudy and rainy right now. So it's hard to see. We got lots of bridges. Bridges are cool. I like bridges. Yeah. Still got a bridge there to build. I'll probably make a bridge going across here somewhere. Like maybe there. Um, but that's not too important. Not until we get all this stuff built, or at least more of this stuff built. Oh, we had a hunter die. We need houses so we can get more people. Uh, let's prioritize. Prioritize these houses, because these need to get built. We need more houses to grow our population, get some babies going. We need a baby boom. Look at all those deer. They're just walking along. I wonder where they're going. They might still be busy on just... Yeah. They're still busy on just clearing out this area. Where are you carrying that iron to? I sure hope you're not carrying it all the way back to town. You are. Uh, well, no. Maybe not. You're cold and you're finding somewhere to get warm. Which is another reason why we want to... We want to get houses over here because then they can store their food and get warm over here instead of going back and forth. Yeah, so if we can... I mean, we have the stockpiles. And if we get houses built, then they'll be able to... Yep, they just got that one cleared out. Although they're still... No, it's not cleared out. They just have it... <laughs> they have it neatly stacked right there where it's going to be eventually. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say... Yeah, if we get stockpile... <laughs> resource Reserve of stone is low. Yeah, I know. Um, I guess we might want to make a clear order of this stuff. I don't know if we have any clear orders standing right now. Besides the stuff that they need to clear to build the houses. But like, yeah, all that stuff should be... Should be able to get all that stuff. So get to work, guys. Come on. Nine stone. Very bad. Very bad indeed. What are... What are we doing? Oh, we got another laborer. Let's put you into the building. There's so many people running around, but I don't know... Where are my builders? You are picking up resources. Picking up resources from where? Like, where would he be going to pick up resources? Why is that well there? 
Shouldn't that be over one? Or is that... Oh, maybe that is the edge of the building. Reserve of logs is low. Uh, we can probably make another forester. And let's make sure that you're working over here. Yep, you are. Awesome. We need to get that area going. So we should have a forester in this one, in this one down here, and then over there. Which uh, should be alright. Man, look at all these guys going. Who else do we have for... You are... Uh, picking up resources. Bla 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 Blakesha. Blakesha. Gideonte is working. Just working, that's all. Princer is getting something to eat. Gloriano is getting something to eat and now is idling. Get back to work. Oh, they're working on the trading post. Cool. Eh, can't. Can't close it. Oh, I can just right click, can I? I just forget that. I can just right click to close these things. But that's alright. That thing is getting nice and built. Did I check this? Do we have room? We only have room for one house. We need two more spots for another one. Which we don't have. There's not a lot of small buildings. I'm not sure this is... That's six wide. We can maybe like move this down there or something. Or the blacksmith. Uh, I wonder if those would fit down there. So that would make this look a little bit better. That does not... That also does not. Those are seven wide. Well, that's not very helpful. Oh, a forester. I could put a forester there. <laughs> or a woodcutter. Woodcutter is six wide. Why can't you... What's in the way there? There's nothing in the way there. That's weird. Does it still think there's part of a road there? Because there was a road thing there. Hey, we have a trading post. Very cool. I suppose that means we should make a trader. So we can do that. Um, should, I start, should I move some resources over there? Huh. Because we, we could... Hmm. Well, I'm not going to. I... There is kind of a trick. Uh, so with this thing, um, what happens is every once in a while you get a boat that comes down the river and docks at this place, and then it will tell you that there's a um, there's a trader or something uh, from another place here to trade, and then you can go in here and you can see what items they have, and then you can store items in here. Uh, and you can, like, up the desired amount, and the trader will work on keeping this place filled with, uh, you know, how much stuff you want. And then everything that you put in here has, like, a certain amount, uh, the cost of it. So you just have to, if you're going to buy something, you have to trade, you know, an equal equivalent amount of other things. And one thing is, like, if you don't do anything, the trader eventually will leave and continue on his journey. But one thing I found is that you can actually, if you keep this trade window open, uh, he won't be able to leave. And so if, uh, if they come and they have something that I want, I can just leave this open and then I can tell them to, you know, bring the items over here. Uh, and that way the trader won't leave until I'm ready for <laughs> until I'm ready for them to leave. It looks like we got the gatherer's hut over here. Why did I put the well there? Oh, I bet yeah, cuz this is probably just um I was probably just planning on this being a temporary stockpile. Cuz we don't really need stockpiles out here once we got everything built. I just have them there so that any resources they clear out they can put in the stockpile. And then they can use right there. And hopefully that saves time. How many stockpiles do we have here? We got a little bit there, there, and there. We might want some more. 
some more. Like maybe, oh, that's right. I don't want to put him there. Reserve of stone is low. Yes, I understand. Could put it like right over here or something. Uh, I just want to make sure that we have stockpiles kind of located nicely. Oh, and they got rid of this one. That's good. Let's make a road through here. Uh, did I pause this one? Yeah, that was paused. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's like floating way above it. It's weird. Like all the other ones are nice and close to the ground, but this one's way up in the air for some reason. Okay, we got that road built. Fantastic. And I think that is all for today. All we got time for. Uh, so we got all the roads built. You can start to actually see... Uh, you can start to see the city a little bit better. It looks kind of cool. I think it should be pretty nice. Uh, we're just working away. Working the grind, trying to get all this stuff set up. And uh, we're running out of logs. <laughs> Not a good thing, but... Hopefully we can keep up on that. I might I might want to make another clear order uh, to get rid of the wood up here. and Maybe they can chop some of that down. But anyways, I hope you have enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and a comment down below if you did. And uh, we'll see you next time. Goodbye, peoples.